Hey guys, good morning. How are you today? Bunny. Bunny. Good morning. How are you? I am great. How are you guys this morning? We're doing good, What's DC. Up, Miss Bunny? You know, he just drank some coffee for the first time. He's I'm acting crazy. Up. I ain't never had no caffeine. Uh huh. My shoulders won't stop well, moving. Yeah, it's a little early for you guys, so I really appreciate your time. And uh, congratulations on everything. I, I got to ask you, I mean, the success of Wild and Out is freaking amazing. Why do you think that this works so well? I think it's because there's no other show like it. It's no show that combines music, comedy, and real live improv. And plus, you yeah. got to think about it. This is our modern day Def Jam. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody got to come on this platform in order, in order for their not really in order for their career to take off. It's just another stepping stone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you did Wild and Out. Oh, did it make other people want to do Wild and Out? You know what I'm saying? So tell them some of the guys Absolutely. that's been through Wild and Out. I mean, who all been? Everybody. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Mike Epps. Uh, uh. Who, who just he went right? crazy? Who went crazy? Oh, Kevin? Kanye, 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 Kanye West, Karen went crazy. Killam, he was there. Right, Pete Davidson. I mean, Drake? and you guys, and you guys. We I mean, this has been that? a stepping stone, we, amazing days, success for you guys. Okay, I'm uh, like, I'm you, how amazing has that been for you to hone your craft on a show like this? I mean, uh. It's, 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 it's more so you get to be on stage with your sisters and your brothers and you get to learn from each other. You know, their scrimps, their weaknesses, and then you get to find your scrimps and your weaknesses and you kind of get to build off your weaknesses and, and your weaknesses become scrimps because you're there working with your sisters and brothers. So it's like, mm -hmm. how can you not have fun at work? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a blessing. It's like playing a sport and then you get put into the league and now you're around mm. the best of the best. So you're really able to hone and craft your skill and become the best that you can be because you're pushed to be that good because you're around the greatest people who rap, the greatest people who do comedy and roasting. And it, right. it really brings out the best in you and it's a blessing. You yeah, I want to ask you, do you guys mm -hmm. ever get, I mean, you really, obviously, you have to be on your toes for a show like this, there's no question. Do you ever get nervous or do you ever kind of like freeze up going, uh, like, or, or just get scared about who you're, who you're rapping or, or doing comedy against or anything? Because it's, it could be a scary prospect. You're not, not, not really scared, man. I think every entertainer or every performer just want the delivery to mm -hmm. be at its best. You know, because everybody get the butterfly. The butterflies ain't going to never go away. Nah. Once the butterflies go away, you really don't, you don't have, care. You don't care for yeah. it no more. You know what I'm saying? Because every performer yeah, yeah. wants to perform at their best. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's never scared. It's, you just want to be at your best because you know for a fact when the lights is on, and that thing, folk be in there talking so wildin', wild. Game Ooh. time. Oh, we game time, it's baby. It's game time. Yeah, I mean, like DC said, you want to perform at your best. And when you are really good at improv, which we're known for that, if yeah. you forgot what maybe you wanted to say a minute ago, you just flip it up and switch it into something switch else. It. You can't show that you messed That's up. That's it. The crowd doesn't know. Yeah. Exactly. No, for sure. It's great. Uh, now, I have to ask you about working with Nick Cannon because, I mean, talk about a talent. How awesome is he? Nick is, honestly, Nick is so dope. And, you know, a lot of the cast members, the guests that come on, they'll try to clown him on his music. But Nick actually has dope music, and he's Nick very good off the top. Produced a lot of stuff. Yeah. Nick will sit there. He'll go off top, freestyle, wild style, roast you, do that with his jokes. Nick's, I think, really good at improv. And he's just such a boss because he's made a way and a platform for his other fellow comedians and artists mm -hmm. to get out there. And not a lot of people make it and do mm -hmm. that and give back to people like me. I mean, Nick changed my life, so I love him forever. Nick would, Nick would keep it so real. Nick would tell you you need a better lawyer. That's just how <laughs> real it is. I done, came, I done came to Nick before. I'm like, Nick, man, I don't know about this. Yeah. He's like, man, DC, <laughs> you just need a better lawyer. And walked off. I'm like. <laughs> Talking about his own contract. <laughs> I'm like, you. You are smart, man. This man, yeah. he, he like the realest, man. And, and you can't, and you can't knock him for that. And and I'm just glad for him yeah. to be one of my mentors. Mm -hmm. I could call him and say he's a big bro. And I always jump out on the limb for him because I know he'll do the same for me. For sure. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, aside from your popularity on this show, you guys have a lot going on your own. So tell us a little bit quickly uh, about what what you guys have coming up on your in your personal life. Like, I mean, you know, what you're doing on your own aside from the show. 
Yeah, uh, well, you know, just being on the platform at MTV has been such a blessing. I just shot a pilot for my own joint that just got picked up. Uh-oh. Might need DC, you know what I mean? Uh-oh. Come through, you uh -oh. already know. Talk your stuff. Um, I just signed with Nick's <laughs> label, Incredible. Hey! And, yep, they just put out my new single, Voicemail. So as soon as the season Amazing. wraps, we're going to shoot the music video for that. Nick's going to be in it and just working on all my new music. And, you know, it's a, Great. It's a lot of things we got in the vault. Good stuff. He's Good stuff. Well, you guys are right, terrific. Right oh, DC, anything really quickly you want to say? Got, got coming up? Oh yeah, currently I'm on I'm on three different tours right now. Woo! My stand-up comedy, uh, I'm working on my stand-up comedy special right now. I got five projects uh, of music that's dropping between September and and June, so it's gonna be real. You are gonna see me, DC Young Fly is gonna be working. Oh yeah, and me and Nick movie dropping out. Uh, she ball. I got like two more movies that's supposed to be dropping, so I'm working. And I go shoot. I got the hook up too with Master P. So That's we crazy. work, baby. Fabulous, fabulous. That's amazing. You guys, listen, come to Canada. You got lots of Canadian fans, and uh, we all love come you. Come on, and, Canada! Uh, Canada! 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 Of Wild and Out. A? What do, you, what do you guys say a lot? A, right? I love Canada. Well, a? we don't really. A? It's kind of a thing, but you can say A if you want. If you oh. want to say A, you can say A. Okay. <laughs> All I right, guys, I'll best be of luck with everything. Great having a time to uh, chat with you this morning. Thank and you uh, guys. Speak to you soon.